All right, so here we go. Here's the start of our uh, 2022 beach trapping. We got a uh, mink this year. We got our uh, our typical coyotes and all too, but that's coming in about another month. And I don't know the first thing about mink trapping, so I reached out to some guys on Instagram that are pretty familiar with it. They gave me lots of good pointers, man. I really appreciate that. Uh, but anyway, just made it out to our first island and just walking around scouting. I got my, my pack here with all my traps and lures and everything in it. And we just came across our first set of mink tracks. Check this out. Pretty sweet. So uh, everything these guys told me was, you know, these minks are kind of creatures of habit. They're going to travel the same same trails and same routes and stuff like that. So we're going to slap in a blind set here. We're running 110 conner bears. Anyway, we're going to start slapping some traps in the ground. Maybe we'll have some success. All right, just to give everybody an idea of what I'm looking at and the kind of sets and stuff I'm making. Um, I was told that, you know, blind sets are best. You just set on these trails and everything. And these are all tidal pools here. You can see the water out here. It's about half tide right now. So on high tide, the water line will be up to here. And so we tracks right over there. But we got a good little trail uh, coming right here with mink tracks all in it. You can see the mink tracks here. So we just folded some grass over us a little 110 conner bear in that trail and put a little bit of uh caven's mink master on the set just for some some smelly good so anyway we got out about eight or ten traps so far we're gonna keep working down this point right here and uh just string them out along this tidal pool check this out boys and girls this is the very first for me give a special special shout out thanks to pa trapper baylor at uh instagram put his address down here but we just connected on our first ever mink uh a little 110 conner bear on a trail set right here on this little sand point got one man can't believe it this is awesome it's the first time i've ever even attempted to catch mink been out here about three or four days we finally connected on one so anyway we're gonna get this little guy out of here snap up some pictures of this thing for sure it's official i'm a mink trapper we just got our first one down here it was a little female first mink i've ever caught in my life and just walked up to another set here and we got a big big buck male in here man this is awesome what i've never even tried to catch mink before and i just snagged two out here in this salt marsh you can see just how open this place is man these critters have got a thousand places they can go so you just got to kind of try to find the sets i mean the the trails that are you know being used the most frequently i guess and set them and I think this is like the fourth or fifth day that we've checked, and this is the first one we've had mink. So this is pretty awesome. It's pretty cool, man. I like trapping minks. Whew. All right, man. We're back out on the islands today. Uh, we couldn't make it out yesterday. It was a small craft advisory and like 20, 30 mile an hour wind. So we stayed on shore yesterday just to be safe. Uh, you know, these islands, they're out just right on the brink of the ocean. So it's really not smart to venture out here too much on those on those windy days, man. There's just a lot that can happen. But anyway, um, we just walked up here to our next set and already took him out of the trap. We got mink number three here. Nice big, big buck male. Um, so this makes three on a trip, three in my life. Uh, he's got man, he's got some pretty fur on him. White patches under his chin and on his uh, on his chest. So that's good for our calls, anyway. Um, good for the bird nesting and everything but pretty pumped up to get it i know the uh i know the people that hired us will be excited about it so i am a mink trapper on to the next beach trapping expedition got the boat landed back here in this little creek walking through the marsh going up to the beach got amber and reed with me and going down here to trap this little point of trees right here they got a bar that comes out into the ocean here that's a bird sanctuary and it's got coyotes traveling the traveling this little point right here getting out to the bar and bothering the birds eating the eggs killing the birds and things like that so all 
off to the mink <coughs> and on to the coyotes. Well, we got some rain today, so it's washed, pretty much washed away any sense of any fresh tracks that we might have. But the coyote just walked out here since the rain. So this is right at the little point of trees here where it uh, chokes down going to the dunes into that sanctuary so i'm gonna probably double or maybe even triple up right in here and try and grab these coyotes first night all right first morning check uh left the wife and left amber and reed back at the motel uh it was a little chilly this morning it's like 51 and i did not pack for cold weather all i got is a rain jacket so this is a pretty chilly ride but we just made it out to the island and i believe i can see a coyote from here. Let's go check it out. This is the last trap I set on the way out of here yesterday. There he is. Island coyote number one from 2022. Got a dirt old set in here. Had fresh trap just for him. Let me see. Pop one in. Got him. Snap up some pictures. This is the first trap. We got about a half dozen or so out here. We didn't set many. It's not a real big uh big area we're trapping so we're gonna grab up some pictures and check the rest of them we got a couple of doubles right over here and then a couple of doubles down here that's really about it sweet all right so we got that guy handled and guess what walking up here to the next trap bouncing son bouncing you can't stop the flop Two coyotes, first night, half dozen traps. That's what's up. And another dirt hole in. I had a double dirt hole in right here. So <coughs> they told me they thought they had only one coyote causing problems on this island. Obviously, we've debunked that in the first night. And I kind of had a good feeling about that yesterday when I came out, saw all the fresh tracks and everything. So, anyway, snap pictures, get this guy handled check the rest of them. Hey, maybe we got as much luck on the rest of them as we did on these first two. Be pretty sweet. MB450 on the back foot, baby. Going nowhere. All right, well, that's going to wrap up the uh, part one beach trapping uh, for now. We were able to get a few mink off that one island, a couple coyotes off the other, so something a little different. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching it. We're just replacing the trim motor here on the outboard. It went out on that trip along with both the wheel bearings. Uh, so doing a little overhaul here before we get started on the next one, but we got a springtime trapping video coming up that I hope you guys will enjoy. And then we're gonna pick up on some more island videos after that. So anyway, you guys uh, like the channel or like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment in the box down below. Let me know what you think. Always looking for different ways to, you know, better educate and reach more people on the channel and on YouTube in general. So anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. Hope y'all enjoyed it.